Hi guys, um, continuing on with the tutorials of the Mantic Zombie type, I'm going to show you how to make blood and gore. We've already done the zombie flesh tone and skin, uh, we've already done his rags. Uh, now we're going to be a bit gory about it. How to do blood and gore, I hear you say. It's quite easy. Let's find some spot on my wet palette. This one will, will do. We're going to take some inks, because inks have the immense advantage of being glossy and shiny. We're going to take some red ink. There. That's all it takes. And some black ink for that fresh blood effect. It's not quite red, it's a dark red color. There. Yes, that will be enough, I think. We're going to take a, a brush that's a little fine. Uh, zero brush, I, fe I feel. Yes, this one actually. Right. We're going to mix the two. It is very important that you mix it well. No, it's not. Yeah. That's it, pretty much. See? Blood. And we want him to be a slightly, slightly fresher looking zombie. So, never apply your ink pure on your miniature. Always mix it in with lots of water because it is really rich in pigments and it will, well, it will destroy your brush, but mainly it will clog up very, very easily and you don't need that much ink anyway. So, this here, we're going to wash it a little with that ink and water there so that it looks like there's been blood in, in, in there at some point. It's just been opened, you see. It will remain a little shiny even after it's dried. There. This is his... Um, this is his brain. There. White excess off one's finger. That should be fine. He also has intestines coming out here. We could leave it that way, but you know, everybody likes fresh blood. There. It's been probably been dripping off his sort of drab. Blech. Disgusting. There. There's a, bit, a little bit on his leg here. Here, just inside that wound. And uh, inside here, here, see, oh, that's terrifying, well, not too much. Since he has been putting his hands in the all the wrong places, we're going to put some blood and gore on his hands, mainly underneath his hands, because, you know, that's the way to do it. And there on his fingers. And there. We don't need to put too much. Just on the on the fingers right there. See? That's plenty. And here, of course, this hand is very bloody. And this hand is pro has probably been torn off. So it needs blood and go all the way here underneath. We'll put a little 
to red mix that's a little more pure yuck very very B movie shall we say and since our zombie has been eating like a pig we're going to yes put a little blood and go in his mouth and on his chin because zombies aren't the cleanest of persons and this hand he's holding is probably just a little snack of his there blood and gore blood and gore is quite easy to do black ink red ink what more do you need there that's it for this tutorial as you can see our zombie is done Thank you.